Welcome to another episode of Applied Salesforce. Here we will look at a micro project and the scenario is uh, at the hotel management app which considers you know, several disparate functions or departments of an hotel like kitchen, front office and housekeeping. So in this uh, in this uh, episode, right, so we look at the kitchen function and the front office uh, function. Okay. And um, the scenario is pretty simple. Uh, whenever an emergency, uh, you know, is uh, is uh, logged, right? So the emergency message from the kitchen, right? It has to uh, traverse to other departments, right? So front office and housekeeping, likewise, right? So uh, if you are um, uh, coming from the Aura uh, framework, right? So uh, it is synonymous to your application events, which is kind of a broadcast, right? So here we make use of a publish subscribe uh, pattern. Okay, so this is um, a very basic idea on um, the scenario. Um, that's about the business and the tech or technology uh, is uh, you know you using the publisher and subscriber pattern. Okay, so emergency message gets published from the kitchen. Let's say it could be an accidental fire, and this message has to be disseminated to other uh, departments or functions. So in this case, we use kitchen as well as the uh, front office, but the housekeeping and other functions would work, uh, you know, in similar fashion. Okay, With, without much ado, um, let me uh, walk you through the code. Okay, the first um important uh, code that you need to look at is the uh, singleton library right so this is out of the box a library that's uh, available um you can i will give you the github link uh, from where you could you know get this uh, library and the first step is to create a lightning component just like this so i've named the lightning component as pop sob it could be anything and uh, the JS code that you get from the GitHub has to be pasted. And it is pretty straightforward. It has several methods which uh, gets uh, used inside your publisher and the subscriber component. So same page a reference, which makes sure that the components, the publisher, as well as uh, multiple subscri subscriber components are all in the same page. Uh, the register listener event or uh, the function Right, so it uh, uh, it specifically you know uh, listens to the uh, event that gets published. Right, from the publisher um, component, the event is uh, disseminated or fired. So uh, that event uh, gets uh, handled, listened and handled uh, within the subscriber uh, components, Lightning Web components, and uh, those subscriber Lightning Web components make use of the register listen method to do that. Okay, and then the unregistered listener and unregister all listeners is to remove the subscriptions from uh, the subscriber uh, Lightning Web components. Okay, and the fire event is to publish uh, the event. Okay, so this is out of the box. Um, the code is readily available. Um, and uh, for this uh, Lightning Web component, you just need to have your JS file, which is this what you see now, and your uh, XML, right? So HTML, you could remove it. And uh, coming back to our uh, kitchen uh, component, um, so this is the publisher um, the component, and let's look at the JavaScript, uh, the HTML uh, code. So it comprises of a lightning car, and then the lightning layout, lightning layout item, couple of lightning layout items, just to split the car into two. So let me walk you through um, the app. Okay, so this is the kitchen component. So it has the lightning card with the title and the icon, and it is split into two, right? So you have the emergency, emergency button uh, as part of the first uh, uh, layout item. And um, um, yeah, so, and this, and, and, and it also has an, um, okay, so this is the first layout item and uh, you have this lightning button, right? So uh, it has, uh, uh, an event handler, so on click event and your uh, event handler dispatch emergency message link. And the second uh, portion of uh, the card uh, houses uh, the icon. So the icon uh, is dynamic, it is not 